Hi there. I'm going to take you through a nice, efficient hip mobility and strength routine. So, won't be too long. We're going to go primarily from the 90-90 position. So I want you with your left leg forward, right leg back. You can use a block underneath you to prop you up a little bit or something to hold on to. I like to post up through my left arm here. So left knee is right in front of you, bent at a 90 degree angle. Right knee is out to the side, also bent at 90 degrees. What I'm gonna have you do to start is pry this knee up away from the ground. So your heel is in front, pushing through that foot, pry up, drive the knee down. Pry up, drive the knee down. You're gonna feel probably some of these inner thigh tissues, groin, working a little bit. All right, pretty cool. Pull as much as you can, then down. Now, drive this actively down into the ground. We're gonna pry the other knee up and down. Notice I'm not moving my torso, okay, or my pelvis, I'm prying up, driving down. Pry open, drive back down. You can, if you would like, change your position, but then once you change it, I want you to stay there while you move your hip. Okay, so different torso and pelvic positions may allow you to find different active stretches here through your hips. I want you to feel these muscles working to pry out. Okay, now I'm gonna have you open here while you drive down here. Now, push down through your front knee, pry up with your back. Push down through your back, pry up through your front. And repeat, we're gonna alternate for about 10 minutes here. <laughs> Just kidding. But if you really, with each rep, are going through your, your max range of motion and pushing against it for a moment, and then pushing down to the ground, this can be a smoker. All right, one more each leg. Notice how I'm using my hands to stabilize driving to the ground. Relax for a moment there. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do the same process on the other side. So we're working adduction, abduction of the hips, a little internal and external rotation. Now, same deal, right leg is forward here. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. So you're, you're solid. You're gonna pry this hip up, drive it down. So we'll do a few reps there. All right, and your position does not have to be exactly like mine. As I said before, you can change a little bit if you want, but then when, once you're moving your hip, I want the rest to stay really solid. Now let's try that back leg, pry, drive down. So you're driving through the inside of that foot, prying that hip open. So for me, on this side, I like to turn a little bit. Okay, I don't have the same, quite the same mobility on this side as the other, so opening up a little allows me to pry open a little more, get a little more activation there in the glutes, and a little more stretch. Now, drive down through the back, pry up with the front. Drive down through the front, pry up with the back. Alternating, drive and pry, drive and pry. And we're working through our greatest range of motion here, really trying to pull up and pry down. Whew. All right, you don't have to work at this intensity, but to get our nice, efficient mobility and strength stimulus, you're gonna wanna push into that. You can certainly do this at a lower intensity as well, and it's still productive. Last one, boom, and boom. Shake it out a moment. We're gonna do one more thing on each side. It's just so fun. Um, so I'm gonna have you uh, back on the other side with the left leg forward, right leg back. You're going to post up through this left arm. You're going to drive through your arm and lift your body. So you're pushing through this foot. You're pushing through this foot and through your arm. That's kind of your tripod, and you're driving up and down. Driving up and down. I can give you a little different view here, if I have room. <laughs> Drive up 
and down. Drive up and down. Now what I would like you to do, if you're able to do this, if you're driving through, I want you to pause at the top here, pry, pry. Knees go together, knees go away. Knees go together, knees go away. Relax for a moment. We're going to do one more of those. Okay, ready? Drive up, knees together, knees away. I want you driving through those feet. You're solid through your torso, solid through your arm, and relax there for a moment. You can shake it out. Whew. Awesome, wonderful news, we have another side, so we get to do that one more time the other way. Drive through the arm, pry the hips. Okay, so we're here. We're pushing through the front leg, pushing through the back leg, or really the foot more than just the leg. Driving through the arm, just like that, back down. And we're gonna practice another one of those drive, back down. Okay, now we're gonna do the pry. We're gonna hold yourself there first. Get really solid. You're driving in, driving in. Knees together, knees away. Knees together, knees away. Let's go one more. Together and away and down. All right, so we're adding a really nice strengthening type stimulus to these motions. Uh, as well as creating a lot of extra tension. So by, by asking you to lift your body, of course you have more range open to you and it forces you to create more tension. So here we go, up, driving through the feet, in, out, in, out. Good, hold solid through the other arm. Keep driving, last rep, out and down. Whew. Get your breath here. Great work. That's all I've got for you for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to play around. Be creative with this type of position and these exercises uh, to get an intensity that works for you.